एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग दिस इज मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब क्लास इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट हाउ वी कैन मैनेज द सर्विस ओवर आर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इन ट्यून राइट नाउ एट इज यू नो वेरी वेल ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉन्ट टू हायर इंजीनियर हु ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन प्रोसेस एंड द यूसेज ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इन ट्यून आई ट्राई टू गिव यू कंप्लीट इंफॉर्मेशन uh to start journey with microsoft intune right so i'll give you the complete prerequisite how you can prepare yourself for microsoft intune service what are the components what are the services are available on intune portal so let's move ourselves to our whiteboard and after that we'll discuss about the prerequisite then talk about the services or features and after that we'll help you to understand about the implementation process as well so before we move to our whiteboard our desk the uh, blackboard so if you're new on my youtube channel if you're watching my video first time so do subscribe you're on teach me cloud youtube channel because teach me cloud can give you 100% live practical based training videos without skipping any step right so i'm going to share my uh, screen our whiteboard now we are on our uh, whiteboard you can say that and we are trying to understand about the concept of microsoft intune right let me start from the very basic right like other cloud providers the one of important thing related to microsoft intune like other other cloud provider you know that multiple cloud providers are available like you know that in case of multiple cloud providers are we have a uh, aws right i'm talking about the amazon web services we have uh, microsoft azure ms azure we are able to set up our infrastructure over a google cloud i'm talking about gcp and the another important point o365 portal right and uh, alibaba cloud these all are kind of uh, public cloud providers IBM cloud uh, VMware cloud multiple other clouds are available but i'm talking about the public cloud means anyone can create their account and start using the services by using these portals so like as these all are the cloud service provider and in case of cloud service provider you know that they give us a option to purchase resources over a amazon portal we are able to purchase multiple services like we have option to purchase uh, a uh, virtual machine we can set up virtual machine we are able to establish a storage and uh, networking yes and security so if you want to set up our resources for organization then aws google cloud alibaba cloud and microsoft azure these cloud providers can help you to purchase the resources from portal but if we talk about office 365 and i'm going to add one more cloud which is ms intune yes microsoft intune is also a type of cloud provider office 365 and microsoft intune uh can give us a option to manage the resources but they don't give you option to create a new resource we don't have any option to create a virtual machine or configure storage set up a networking or security because office 365 and Microsoft Intune, both are a type of. Uh, you can say that both are a type of SaaS service. The meaning of SaaS service means software as a services. As per the name suggests, the meaning of software as a services. Over our software as a services, we don't have option to purchase resources. They give us option to use their own resources. so that's why over our intune and over our office 365 we need to start work with the help of subscription with the help of licenses right you must need to purchase the license and as per the license uh, it will give you the uh, this portal can give you multiple products like teams one drive i cloud uh, what sorry one drive entire product of uh, office like uh, excel access powerpoint word so these types of products are available on office 365 as it is microsoft intune can give you one portal and with the help of portal we are able to control and manage our on premises resources let me help you to understand about how it work 
for example this is our microsoft office not office this is our uh, ms intune portal okay think about this is our microsoft intune portal ms intune portal by using microsoft intune portal we are able to control and manage our on premises resources for example you establish uh, your you are using your own laptop you want to use the office task with the help of tablet you are using mobile phone we have a desktop right laptop ipad right uh, tablet or ipad any mobile phone and desktop so i'm talking about these all are hardware that we need to use in on on premises and you are using these resources to manage and perform the task for organization for your day-to-day -day activity. You are using multiple applications of Office 365. You install PowerPoint, Excel, Access Power, and uh, Teams. You establish your SharePoint. OneDrive you configure with your devices. Now, you wanted to control these devices. Yes, I'm talking about the control. You wanted to control these devices through the portal, then Microsoft Intune service can help you because the Intune contain MAM and MDM. Think about MAM is a mobile application management and second is MDM. MAM, mobile application management can help you to control and manage our on-premises application that you install on local computer. MDM is a mobile device management that can help you to control the activity of our on-premises device like laptop your desktop, your iPad, your iPhone, uh, your Android phone, everything you can control over a portal. Nowadays, most of organizations can offer you for permanent work from home. So it's really difficult to control the resources on different, different ISP. Like I'm working from home, so I'm using my own ISP. You are working from home, so you must need to use your own internet service provider, right? So in this case, it's really difficult to um uh, means provide the access of our firewall because firewall company need to establish in uh, the on premises organization right in in the office premises in the office building but in case of work from home no any organization can give you the firewall to connect with your own isp so that time intune come into the picture because the intune can give you not like as a firewall security but yes Intune can provide you lots of security like monitoring your device, trace the location, control over the data, provide the authentication to use the application that provided by organization. So these types of activity you can manage with the help of Intune portal. If you plan to be expert in Microsoft Intune services, you should know about the prerequisites, the one of important point. If you want to start your journey, if you want to add the domain of Microsoft Intune to your existing uh, profile, so it's mandatory for us. We must need to know about the prerequisite if you plan to be expert in Intune services. What are the prerequisites you should know about? Prerequisite to learn, yes, I'm talking about to learn MS Intune. In this case, you should know about if you are to learn about the Microsoft Intune services, the basic and important point you should know about server 2012, 2016, or 2019, and 2022. In server, you must need to know about ADTS, Active Directory Domain Services. The another prerequisite you should know about the Azure AD management. Because without Azure Active Directory Management, you are unable to perform any single task over a Microsoft Intune portal, right? Azure AD Management, you should know about that. All concepts related to the Azure AD, like uh, uh, you can say that how to manage user, how to create a user, multiple user on Intune portal, and a number of things are available over Intune. Number four, you should know about the concept. You should uh, know about the concept of cloud portal any cloud portal you should know about how portal can perform the task because microsoft intune can give you option to establish services over a portal right so these all are the prerequisites 
if we talk about the features means what are the features are available so features of intune so in case of features of intune what are the points are available uh, with the help of intune we are able to enroll any platform we are able to enroll any devices or any platform the meaning of platform here like we are able to enroll we are able to enroll windows based machine we can enroll the red hat right i'm talking about the linux you can enroll mac operating system we are able to enroll ipad os we can enroll chrome operating system and we have option to enroll android as well We are able to enroll. The meaning of enroll, you can connect your devices directly to the Intune portal. The another features, if we talk about the features, what are the activity we can perform? The feature one, control your on premises devices. We are able to control on premises devices. Second, with the help of uh, Microsoft Intune, we are able to configure GPU, group policy object. With the help of Intune portal, we are able to install application remotely. Right, we are able to install the application remotely and multiple options like you can uh, reset the de device. We are able to reset the devices, enroll devices I'm talking about. With the help of Intune, we are able to uh, trace the device. I'm talking about the device location and one more point which is really important provide the authentication provide high security for authentication like you if you establish uh, any application on on-premises device and you wanted to control the device authentication using the Intune then Intune can help you right and uh, what are the prerequisites to set up your infrastructure? Very basic things are required, like as uh, create a free trial account over uh, MS Azure. Yes, if you have account of Azure, you can do that. Or if you establish your account over Office 365, free trial accounts would be created on uh, Microsoft Azure portal or Microsoft Intune portal. Both portal can help you because both portals can contain the Azure AD. Right? So if you have a access of Azure AD, we just need to purchase one license, AD license, and the AD license can help you. This is the basic important things related to Microsoft Intune. I hope you all of you understand about the concept. No worry. I'll give you the complete playlist of Microsoft Intune in English. Uh, shortly we'll start working because I created multiple videos in Hindi so you can find the uh, Intune videos on my YouTube channel but unfortunately entire videos are in Hindi language so not only so you are able to understand about the practical so that's it guys this is the basic information that I'm planning to share with you I hope everything is okay so do subscribe your on teach me cloud YouTube channel we'll connect in next video thank you take care bye bye